All right, the recent mass cancellation of Southwest Airlines flights due to systemic problems has now resulted in a lawsuit that could grow. A Southwest passenger is suing the airline over failure to provide refunds. Tia is in Studio 32 with details. Natalie and Anthony, it's going to be really interesting to see how all of this shakes out. But the plaintiff is a man from Louisiana. He was one of hundreds of thousands of passengers who were affected by the Southwest cancellations of more than 16,000 flights last week. He is accusing the carrier of a breach of contract. The suit filed in a New Orleans federal court proposes to be a class action and alleges that Southwest did not provide passengers with other flights or quick refunds as it halted more than half its operations. The plaintiff says when his flight was canceled, he and his daughter were offered a credit for use on a future flight. The airline's tickets, however, include a contract of carriage, which empowers passengers to a full refund if they are or if they cannot be accommodated with the next available flight. Now, in recent days, the company has launched a website to help customers with refunds and compensation. But on the flip side, some experts say it's a little too late. Not in my years of being a travel advisor, I've never seen this ever. I like to see them, under, you know, working on the same rules, but more transparency. More transparency is what I like to see. Well, this week, CEO Bob Jordan wrote that letter that you see right there apologizing to customers about the chaos and offer those impacted 25,000 frequent flyer points, which is equivalent to about $300. And in addition to that, to some customers, they offered reimbursements and refunds. But many customers say they are now facing delays on the airline's website when trying to apply the points to their accounts. Southwest has yet to reply to this lawsuit. Natalie?